Josh, where are we, man? Josh, where... Josh, where in the hell are we? Wait, look, man, we're not even on the map anymore. Mike, wait, 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 wait. Just relax, all right? Relax. Look, we're out in the country, for God's sake, huh? I drug you out of the city to get you away from all this crap. Now, I just want you to, to relax, forget everything, all your problems, your troubles. Especially that, uh, that beautiful little girl who dumped you. I'm so sorry about oh, that. Oh, come Great on. Mom. That is not even the point. That's not what I'm talking about. She didn't dump me, all right? We just have, we just have irreconcilable differences. <laughs> That's a good word. Josh, would you please keep your eyes on the road, okay? You just, you're making me nervous. I could drive this kind of road blindfolded. Well, please don't prove it, okay? My eyes are closing. Oh, oh no. I'm losing control. Josh, come on, please. Oh, Josh, like come on, Josh. Downstream look, look, on an old watch where plan. you're going. No. Come on, you're on the wrong side of the road. Josh, you're gonna get us killed. Fish and pole. Would you watch out? Oh. <laughs> you just nearly got us killed. What did I tell you? <laughs> you're getting off on that. You think that's funny? Well, that's exciting. I can't believe this. You bring me to the country so I can relax, and now I'm getting an ulcer. You know, Mike, I really, I really want you to lighten up. You understand? I mean, a good jolt like that is good for your circulation. I got this doctor friend, right? He told me uh, an encounter with death is like an encounter with life. He's a pretty exciting guy. I can't kind of believe it. What the hell was that? No! Hey, it, boy. What the hell's he doing, man? Get that piece of jerk off the road, boy! What that crazy jerk? God damn it! I give you a little help! I give you a little push! <laughs> God damn it! Josh, will you just let him pass? Josh, those guys are crazy! Hey, get this guy out of What the hell are you doing? We're gonna teach you city boys how to drive! You wanna play? Come on! Yeah, you hog jones! Get him, baby! Get him! Trying to kill us, damn redneck! Josh, Why don't you just get it down here and drown you? Throw my lapis over it, Billy Bob. son. Well, uh, you, come on down here, huh? Pass the trails, punks. So long, fucker, smooth sailing. <laughs> Great vacation, Josh. All right, big shot. Let's see you walk with your eyes closed. Look, will you listen? There's going to be a town up ahead. In this town, there's going to be a gas station. And the gas station is going to be a tow truck. We're going to be fine. Wait a minute, I hear a car. I'll get this guy to help us. Sure you will. Everybody's so accommodating out here in the country. I'd say he's probably in a hurry to help somebody, huh, Mike? Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is perfect. Now, this is uh, what's known as Southern hospitality at its finest. Well, let me uh, let me stop this one. You just sit it out. Been nice knowing you. Son of a... Josh, you okay? Uh, oh. What is 
this guy doing? Now, Josh, cool it. Cool it. What, are you out of your mind? Sorry. Didn't see you. Oh, you didn't see me. <laughs> you all all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Well, that's good. Is that your little old car back down there in the water, down the road? Yeah. Unfortunately, we, uh... We ran into some of your local heroes here. You know where there's a gas station? Yeah, there's one in Goodland. Uh, of course, it's two or three miles from here. Tell you, hop in, and I'll take you to it. My name's Mel. Mel. Huh. Come on. You want to go with me? I'm going to walk. And you sit next to him, all right? I ain't touching him. You, uh, you hunt Mel? Huh? Hey, yeah, I guess I do. Well, uh, what is it that you hunt, Mel? Anything that's running away. <laughs> <laughs> Come think I did a little hunt just the other day. Guess what we was looking for? Gerbils? No, no, I think old Mel is into, uh, city boys, right? <laughs> yeah, little green men. <laughs> All right, do you marshal? Yeah, some kind of perverts. We ain't quite sure which it is yet. Of course, if you ain't careful now, boys just might find out what it is. Last visitors come through here. They're nice folks. They just up and disappear. Disappear. Yeah. Yeah, if I was you, I'd be going the other way just as fast as possible. Well, we plan to. Oh, yeah, yeah. So how much further is this town, anyway? Yes, uh, I'm sorry, boys, I'm sorry. Would you mind if I let y'all off up here at the park? I'm running more behind than, than I thought it was. Uh, you'll be all right. You'll be fine, as long as you keep moving. The good one's right on up the road there. Can't miss it. Just about a mile. Okay. Okay, thanks again, Mel. And, boy, if I was you, I'd shake a leg. Ain't good to be out on these roads after dark. Okay. Thanks, Mel. Hey, hey, Mel. Listen, we're gonna keep a real good watch out for all the perverts and Martians, all right? You do that, city boy. <laughs> Maybe we ought to just head it back to the car. <laughs> What's the matter, son? Ain't you never been shocked before? Come on, Mike. This guy's laughing his face all the way to Toledo, all right? Come on. We'll get some burgers. We'll get some beer. We'll dance. We'll find some lonely, lonely little, little lady. <laughs> There's the capital city kids passing through. No problem. I'm coming on in. A mile, the man says. Country mile. Yeah, well, at least it's civilization, man. Barely. Looks like a one-horse town to me. I'm sure about that. It looks like a half-horse to me. Well, don't knock it. Look, they got a bar. All right. Jack's Tavern. Jack, Look at this guy. Hello! Hey, mister! Oh. Excuse me. Uh... We're lost. We need some, uh... Town drunk. Perfect, huh? Josh, man, I don't even think this place has a gas station. No, but Mike, it's got a bar. You know what I mean? Let's drink. Did you hear that, man? I heard something. What? I don't know. Mike. No, Mike, we're getting... Look, it's probably one of uh, Mel's little green perverts. Mike, will you come back here? Look, I'll, I'll buy the drinks, all right? Mike!
Mike, come on. What are you doing? Let's get out of here. Would you just wait a minute, man? I really heard something back here. Well, it's probably a cat. Now, come on. Let's get out of here. Mike, you okay? Mike. I'll go get the police. Department, you have a police department in the town or something? What's your problem? <coughs> well, look, I just need to talk to the sheriff, okay? Hey, hey looky there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Have some fun, boys. Uh, excuse me, boy. Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, yeah. You's one of them little boys out by the highway. Well, you put a scratch in my front bumper. Okay, Albert. Back off. Say, how this, Jack? Damn near run a good pickup with that crazy driving of yours. Didn't he, baby? That's right, honey. He's the one. <laughs> Excuse me. God. This is my brother. Uh, we don't want any trouble, all right? We just uh, want to make a phone call and get out of town, all right? Oh. Well, you boys just think you can come in our little town acting well you damn well please, don't you? You got no respect for property. You break all our laws. I tell it back to your fancy little condominiums. But it's about time you start a lesson. Wait a minute, you're the bastard that started this whole thing. You shut your mouth, Mike. Yeah. Well, I'm the bastard that's gonna finish it, too. Take him. Oh, okay, little boy. You're gonna need some steel. <laughs> That's it for tonight. That'd be all right, Sheriff. That's right, Sheriff. Suck that stuff down. Suck it down so you can forget. I screwed up in the big city. But I ain't gonna forget you two little boys. Albert's gonna get you. Albert, I told you to go on home. Don't push it. <laughs> you, got, you got something for this? Yeah, sure, sure. Excuse me, Sheriff, but we got a bleeding man. Is there a doctor in this town? Mm-hmm. Well, would it be too much to ask for you to drive him to the doctor? No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, Sheriff, there's a dead man outside. I think he's been murdered. Nice going. There he is. It's not him. 
What are you doing here? Sorry to interrupt your beauty sleep, hard, but uh, you better get up and go on home now. I thought I was home. That's funny. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice to meet you. Uh, this way, home. Nice to meet you, too. Anything else? Sure, that is that is not the same guy that was there. I might like, knock it off, but uh, he's not about to believe you, all right? You're damn right. I got enough problems around here without you people. Now, I don't know why you're here, and I don't care. Now, I'm taking you to get your arm fixed, but I want you people to leave first thing tomorrow. You got me? Yeah, yeah. Best advice I've heard all day. Uh, thanks a lot, Sheriff. Let's go, Mike. Mike? Sheriff, I... Let's go, boy. your shirt on now. Uh, do you have a place to stay tonight? Well, uh, actually, the sheriff here seems to think we should get on out of town. Oh, um, well, why don't you just wait in the waiting room for a second with your brother? Okay. okay. There you go. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks, Sheriff. Well, that boy shouldn't travel tonight. Would you do me a favor and just put him up at Mrs. Mapes, huh? Okay. Uh, Myra. Sheriff. Sure. Well, I hate to bother you, but I was wondering if I might ask you a favor. I know you don't like to ask favors. Maybe if you were off the juice, you wouldn't have to. Not the kind of favor I'm talking about. Besides, what's between us was over three months ago. I don't compete with college kids. I can't believe you're jealous of my hired help. Well, you gotta admit, you and him here, alone at night, and you know how people think. The only reason we're alone is because people don't want to come to a small-town, old-fashioned doctor who also just happens to be a woman. If my regulars are canceling, I don't know what it is. Is it me? No. No. You're still the same wonderful, beautiful person, even if you are a woman. <laughs> Okay, how can I help you, Sheriff? Huh? Well, it's, it's something I found. I just wonder if you might check it out, tell me what it is, where it came from. Oh, but I... Ow! Damn, it's hot. What the hell? Are First thing tomorrow morning, I want you to go down to Royal's gas station at the edge of town and get your car fixed and on the road. You got me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Thanks. Oh, by the way, now, Mrs. Mate may not have the best accommodations in the world, but she loves company, so she'll probably give you boys a big breakfast. Great. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Sheriff. Yeah. You've got to believe me, that was not the same man. The man I saw was dead. Do you have wax in your ears? I told you to drop it. Oh, do you want to come down and spend a night with me? Because I don't have no breakfast down there at that jail, boy. Dropping it, Sheriff. Good night. What the hell are you doing, huh? I mean, you just don't know when to keep that mouth shut, do you? Real cheerful place. I don't think anybody's here. Looks like we're on the lawn, guy. Yes? What can I do for you gentlemen? Uh, 
Look, uh, we're sorry to bust in so late, but the sheriff said uh, you might have a room to rent. Sheriff Stewart? Yeah. He just dropped us off. Oh, I see. Mrs. Maves, right? Yes. I'm Josh. And this is my brother, Mike. Hi. Our car broke down, and uh, we just need a place to stay. We'll be gone first thing in the morning, I promise. Well, don't just stand out there talking. Why don't you come on in and make yourselves at home? Thank you. Well, I haven't taken in anybody quite a spell now, ever since my daughter died. Sorry to hear that, Mrs. Mapes. Well, that's all right. It's been a long time ago. I still change the sheets right regular, though. Habit, I guess. Oh, yes, the bed. Ah. Well, uh, since there's only one bed, the floor is yours. Well, I thought I could give you two rooms. The price would be the same. Well, thank you. That's, that's very nice of you. How much do we owe you? Oh, just $15. And you can pay it when you leave. <laughs> Who knows? You might stay longer than you'd planned. But now the other room is down the hall. Who's coming with me? Yes. Me. Thanks. No, she's just your type. <laughs> so have fun. Close the door. Thank you. Good night. God Good bless. Night. Oh. It's quite a, quite a difference in rooms, isn't there? Well, a growing boy like you needs to have a nice big bed. Now, if you need anything, I'll be up down in the living room. No, I'm sure I'll be fine, Mrs. Mavis. Thank you. You have a good night's sleep. All right. Thanks. I not give you till sundown to get out of town, boy, huh? It's not funny, Josh. It's the second time tonight. Second time, huh? You're giving me a heart attack. Oh, now, this is nice. This is all right. How do you rate this? I got, uh, posturepedic concrete. <laughs> Josh. Look, man, you know that was not the same body we saw. Mike, I don't care. Look, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this car fixed in the morning, and then you and I are going to get the hell out of town. We're just going to close our eyes and forget the whole thing, is that it? Basically, yes. You know it's just not... What, what, what? It's not right? If you're going to tell me it's not right, then you tell me it's not right that somebody sticks a broken beer bottle in my face. That's right? Huh? Look, I'm, I'm out of this town. That's it. Gone. Man, you know, I cannot believe you. You are so selfish. Look, if you're not going to do anything about this, I am. No, no, you're not going to do a damn thing. You're going to listen to me. Mike. I make a deal with you. We at least get the car fixed and we get across the county line before we call the cops. We can do anything after that. Okay, Mr. Humanity? Yeah, okay, that sounds good. But I want you to promise me, okay, when we get out of town, we do that. All right? I'm promising, all right? Do I lie to you? Yes, just shake. I want your word. <sighs> Please? I want you to lighten up, huh? I shake. Deal. All right. Now, you... Just my arm, man! I'm sorry. Just get some sleep. And don't leave the room, you understand? Right. Josh. What? I love you, man. You know that. I think it's the first time I ever heard you say that. Good night. Good night. You can get this prescription filled in the morning when the drugstore opens. In the meantime, give your husband these pills. It'll take care of his cough, and so you can get some sleep. Thank you, Dr. Tate. Uh, Dorothy, uh, 
You really should advise your husband to come in. I should take a look at Mr. Miller myself. Um, well, you do know uh, uh, that the company pays the health plan over at the new medical center. Yes, I know. I understand. Okay. No. Goodbye. Strange. I haven't seen Mrs. Miller since the new medical center opened. I know. Isn't it strange? And also, she's the fifth one of my old patients to come in today. Oh, uh, by the way, Dr. Tate, I've noticed inventory's low, but I'm not sure if I should order anything. With all the cancellations we've had, we look wide open. Uh, I know, Vic. Probably right, but I think something's going around. I mean, did you notice how empty the streets were today? So let's, uh, let's be prepared. Okay. Okay. Josh? Josh, is that you? Get out of here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well, it's about time you got up. It's almost noon. I thought you were going to sleep all day. Mrs. Mapes, uh, have you seen my brother? No, I haven't. He didn't answer when I knocked. But he left his things here. I guess maybe you fellas will be seen on another night. No, no. Um, listen, if you see him, will you tell him I'll be back, okay? Certainly. Optimistic they'll win the contract. Sports and weather in 30 minutes, but now here's Cousin Hello? Cousin with more music. Anybody here? Hello? You open? Yeah, we're open. Oh, uh, excuse me. I wasn't sure. It seems like uh, everything in town is closed today. Can I get you something? No, I don't think so. Uh, uh well, yeah, uh, I'm looking for my brother. He's about 20 years old, brown hair. He's cute. 
You're the first person that's been in here all day. We probably went to the gas station to get a tow truck. Our car's in the ditch outside of town. Oh, that's not so. The gas station's been closed all week. Lou's sick. Lou's sick. All right, thank you. Oh, but there's another gas station on the outskirts of town. It's probably open. Well, thank you. About four or five miles. Four or five miles, I see. Uh, well, is there a bus, cab, any kind of public transportation in this town? You're not from around here, are you? No, no. Can I, can I get a beer? Okay. Thanks. Listen, uh, the gas station's not far from where I teach. I'm gonna go pick up some papers, so if you want, you can come along. So you're a teacher and you tend bar. This is a small town. <laughs> I do teach. All the kids are out with a bug. There's a flu going around. My Uncle Jack, who runs this place, is out with it, too. I must look a mess. No, you look fine. Actually, uh, you look sensational. Uh, look, uh, my name's Josh. Holly. Holly? I sure would appreciate a ride to that gas station. Sure. What is that concoction? A little sodium bisulfate. Well, don't give me any technical garbage, Mara. Just tell me what, what it is. Okay. Drink it. What? It's my father's famous hangover antidote when he was GP 30 years ago. Uh-huh. And he used to give his patients his stuff to drink. <laughs> Patience hell was for dad. After he came back from having a binge, I suggest you drink it up so we can get down to work. Oh. Last night I ran some tests on that sample you gave me. And you're not going to believe this. It's blood. Human blood? Well, yes and no. I mean, it does have two out of three main components of blood, plasma and white cells, almost no red cells. And then there's some other substance giving it that yellowish color. What is it? <laughs> you got me. There's one thing I know for sure, though. Nothing human can have this in its veins and live. So where did it come from? Is it some sort of disease? No, I don't think so. And there's another thing, Will. Very peculiar. I accidentally spilled some of it on the blood on that boy's handkerchief. Well, and it absorbed it and grew. I mean, it must have increased in mass almost three times its size. Mara, I want you to get this over to the county medical center right now. steal blood. Have you ended up in Goodland on your vacation? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, I guess uh, you call it fate. So anyhow, I was just, uh, I don't know, going out of my mind looking at so many race car designs. I thought it was time to uh, take a little R&R. &R. Well, you might get some rest in Goodland, but I don't know about the recreation. It's right this way. I'm just going to be a minute. I'm just going to pick up some... Billy? Billy, what are you doing here? I got to school late and nobody was here. School's canceled today, Billy. You can go home. I can't, Miss Pierce. Nobody's at home. My mom and dad are gone. They've left me for good. Oh. Billy, they probably just went out shopping. They'll be back. Listen to me, Billy. Listen. Um, I bet your mom and dad are waiting home for you right now. 
It's okay. Come on, let's go. Okay. Bye, Miss Pierce. Goodbye. See you. Great. Listen, uh, I gotta find my brother. Can we get going? So what the hell was that? The only person that should be in here is the janitor. You'll be fine. Just relax. city boy i said get the sheriff look at this girl oh what have you done to that precious little baby what are you talking about what i've done now, you know i didn't did didn't what <laughs> you reckon anybody around here is gonna believe you city boy <laughs> come on it is uh, if you're able to talk look come on one more time. I've been trying to tell you, Sheriff. I don't know how he killed that little gal. I just know he killed her, and then he turned on me. And that's exactly what happened. You give me such a hard time for, I damn near got blinded trying to stop him. That's a lie. Sheriff, you can't believe that. He was with me. You were nowhere near there, baby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, all right. Knock it off, the both of you. Now, I want full statements later. Will you fix his face? Oh. Sheriff, I'm sure he didn't do it. I'm sure. Well, I already heard you, Holly. But if he's so innocent, why did he run away? Maybe because he was scared. Yeah, well, maybe when I find him, we'll get some answers. To all. Meantime, there's nothing for you to be doing around here. Why don't you go on home? I got enough problems. Let's do it. This is Stuart. Stuart, this is Dawson. That's a negative on that backup. You're on your own now. Captain, I've got a homicide here. I uh, must be somebody can send out. I hear you, Will. I'm leaving now for Route 14 myself. I got a tank of truck overturned and 15 cars on fire. I got a 211 over on Carlsberg. Now, I'm just shorthanded. I need help now. And I'm telling you, you're going to have to wait, Stuart. Look, just get that body over to the car and it's right now. I 
right over here. Vic, you want to put it over there? Will? Come see this. Get some pictures and put them in your hair. That's it. Come on, boy. Couldn't have been the boy. Nothing human could have done this. Look at this. Damn. That's the same substance you gave me to analyze. All right, I want to get this body over to the corner right away. Sure, sure. How about a statement? Really? What's going on? I want to examine that body. Will, you know something's going on around here. I mean, look around you. The town's almost empty. I mean, it must have something to do with that girl. I said, no, Ma, look, I got my job to do and you got your job to do. All I want is one night with the body. Just one night. I mean, then I can analyze that chemical, compare it to the specimen you gave me. Just one night, please. Boy, I've never met a more hard-headed damn woman in my life. I told you no. I, I, got, I got orders. Damn it, Will. Why don't you go out on a limb for once in your life? I've been out on a limb. You old people ought to know that. All right. You got one night, but first thing tomorrow morning, I want you to get that body to the corner. Now, you got me? Thank you, Sheriff. There might be some hope for you after all. I doubt it. Do the girls' parents know yet? No. I'm on my way over there right now. I don't know what the hell I'm going to tell them to you. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't think it was safe yet. You scared me. Well, what happened back there with you, with you and Albert? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, all we gotta do is get to your house, all right? Just drive. We'll talk then. Okay. Mr. Mitchell? Mrs. Mitchell? Stewart. Go ahead. Captain, 
You better get your at. You better get down here and see this. I've got another homicide. Stuart, what in the hell's going on over there? I wish I knew. But if I was deputy chief of this county, I'd want to see this firsthand. I'll be there just as soon as I can. And look, don't you touch anything. Not until I get there. sleep and I'll be as good as gold. But you might get worse. Please, let me be. Turn out the light, honey. It, it hurts my eyes. Okay. I love you. I love you, Uncle Jack. Good night. Good night, baby. Maybe I can help you find what you're looking for. Look, I'm gonna borrow your car and I'm gonna go look for my brother, all right? I don't think so. I don't think you're going anywhere. The sheriff's out looking for you. He thinks you did it. How does he think I could possibly do something like that? He's got a witness, Albert Hogue. Albert Hogue? <laughs> the man is a caveman, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna believe him. Okay, well, that caveman was the only one with you. You made me wait upstairs, remember? What is with you people here, huh? What are you, a bunch of rednecks? You got nothing else better to do than to, than to pick on outsiders like us? Is that it? up in and uh, I'm responsible for him being here you understand yeah yeah he's your younger brother but he's a grown man he can take care of himself I don't know this was uh gonna be like the first time in eight years we're gonna have a chance just to be alone hang out with each other now I can't find him, so, uh, uh... Right now, he's probably looking for you. You're probably right. You know, you're pretty. Jack? 
easy. Easy, Josh. Take it easy. Where am I? You've been unconscious for a while. Hi. Hi. What happened? When you found that girl, did you touch her? Um, yeah. Ah. Ah. Ah, careful. She, uh, she fell. She fell right on me. Uh-huh. Because from the symptoms, you seem to have had a toxic chemical reaction. Chemical reaction? Wait a second. How, how can I get a chemical reaction from a little girl? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll be all right in the morning. Uh, Holly, has, uh, has Mike showed up? No, not yet. Listen, I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta find him. Listen, you're not gonna be able to look for him tonight because I gave you a shot and you're just gonna have to rest. I'll take him back to my place, Dr. Tate. If there are any problems, we'll give you a call. Okay. No, thank you, okay? Good night. Good night. you? Yeah. No power? It won't work, Captain. Every light bulb in the house is missing. The body is missing. The body is missing. Now, he was right here. I guess he just got up and walked out. What do you think? You think I just brought you out here for the hell of it? Is that what you think? You know, I used to think I know you better than this. But you want to know what I really think? I think you're a washed-up big city cop who's hiding in a bottle. Let me tell you something, Tom. I got a dead child over at Myra's right now. And I'm telling you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That body's in Myra Tate's? What happened to the coroner? Well, I was going to send it over in the morning. Well, you don't make those decisions. I do. And I told you to send that body today. And what is it Myra Tate's for anyway? She's just a, a GP, not a pathologist. She might be a GP, but she knows enough. Yeah, just like you, huh? You know, I'm sick and tired of your fairy tales. Now, you've got until 10 tomorrow morning to come up with some answers. And if you can't, I'm having you suspended. Well, then you better suspend me, because I'm telling you there's something going on here. You know, Stuart, this job was a handout to you anyway. Everybody felt sorry for you. Everyone knows why you don't like wearing that gun. He was probably dead drunk when you shot that kid. I think this belongs to you. Tracy Mitchell was not murdered. The chemical compound I found in her bloodstream was unlike any other I've ever seen. It contained large traces of zinc chloride. No human being could have that caustic substance in its veins without eating away its own flesh. I can only assume that some sort of mutation has occurred. It allows the body to withstand the shock of this toxic fluid. Much like a snake is immune to its own venom. Uh, Dr. Tate, feels like I'm coming down with that flu. Do you have something I can take? Just a second, Vic. I'll be right with you. Just want to finish this up. I think, and this is a guess here, that this chemical will cause a complete <laughs> breakdown of the nervous system. It expands rapidly when mixed with blood, growing in volume many times. And since the vessel walls are thinnest in the extremities, the hands of this poor creature would burst open because the body part could not withstand the pressure. I called her a creature just now because there's no way in heaven that she could still be human. This mutation somehow causes an increasing need for blood. 
how it is ingested from the other organisms still baffles me. I can only assume that it has something to do with the openings in the hands. They resemble the orifices used by leeches in sucking blood from their host's body. There's no telling how far this has spread. God help us if there are any more of these creatures. Vic, come and take a look at this. Now you know he hasn't been here. Now what? Now what? I'll tell you what. Ever since I arrived in this damn town, it's been nothing but insanity. I got rednecks trying to kill me. A dead little girl falls on me, and the doctor tells me I got a chemical reaction. I... Well, what are you getting at? Josh. Now, wait a second. There's a chemical plant here, isn't there? No. Not that I know of. Now, think about it. There is New Era. It's this big conglomerate they're supposed to reactivate the old mines. I hear they're into oil, coal. Chemicals? Yes. You know where it is? Sure, yes. This is where the property starts, right here. How are we going to get in here? I hear they shoot first and ask questions later. Listen, uh, first of all, we are not going to go in there. Second of all, not because you're a woman, all right? But if I get spotted, I can run a lot faster. Now, listen, Holly, just give me 15 minutes. 15 minutes, I'll be right back. Josh. What? You got just 15 minutes. Don't worry, all right? You two, come here. Take that lid off over there.
Get the hose on. Put it all in. Turn it on. Jim, hard. Oh, come on over here. One move and it'll be your last. Turn over. Hi, my name's Mel. Remember me? You know the stuff you're taking out of here? It's killing people, Mel? Yeah, this isn't stuff. This is chemical waste. Now, you got it all wrong. We ain't taking anything out of here. That'd be stealing from Mother Nature. We're putting it back in. Now, why don't you lean over there and just see for your own self? How deep is it, Jim? I don't rightly know, Mr. Snatter. Some of these shells run on for miles. Why don't you hop on in there, boy, and find out? Stop, Jim! Come on, boy, and make me use it. You listen to me. It's not going to work, you understand? The people who know where I am. There ain't gonna be nothing left of you for them to find. You showed up. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay, look, we got all the evidence we need. All we had to do is get to the sheriff's, all right? Oh, I love you. I love you. Go! Yeah. Drive past the station and just pull over, all right? I'll go tell him everything we know about New Era. The only problem is that he might be in cahoots with him. If he is, there's no telling what he's going to do. Sheriff Stewart? No, he's not. No, he's listen, not. listen, Holly. I don't know what to think about you, Sheriff, or your little town anymore. Look, what I want you to do is you go home, get your uncle. If I'm not back right away, then you just get the hell out of town as fast as you can. Find the state police and tell them what happened, all right? Okay. Before you say anything at all, you gotta hear me out, all right? I know what's going on. I know what killed that little girl. Well, congratulations. I believe you. But uh, as of this morning, I'm no longer sheriff. I've been promoted to civilian. Didn't you hear what I said? I know why people are dying. I got proof. So do I. 86 proof.
us here. Are you all right? Let me take a look at you. I just want to help you. If Holly verifies your story, I'll go to New York. No, no, Uncle Jack, please! That's right. I understand about the suspension, but this is a. This is an emergency. Look, damn it! You tell Dawson to get in touch with me, and you better. Hang on. My secretary hangs up on me. Look, sheriff, this whole town could be affected. I mean, we might be the only three people left. What are we gonna do? Well, whatever we do, we better do it before nightfall. It seems the light hurts their eyes. All right. Can't serve that suspension on me until they see me. So we'll go by Myra's, pick up the body, and I'll personally dump it in Dawson's lap. Let's go. No, no, you go. I still gotta find my brother. When's the last time you seen him? Just, I haven't seen him since uh, the night you dropped us off at Maeve's house. I went by there this morning before we went to New Era. He wasn't there, and the old lady was gone too. The old lady was gone. Did you talk to her daughter? Whose daughter? Mrs. Maeve's daughter, Penelope. She told me that she lived alone and that her daughter was dead. I don't like it. You go on by there. We'll go by Myra's and meet you halfway after school. You okay? Yeah.
Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about my brother. Now, what have you and your daughter done with him, huh? I told you my daughter was dead. Yeah, well, you lied, lady. You, you get out of here. Mike! Get out of here. I'm going to call the police. Call the police. Mike! Mike! You got no right. You got no right to be in here. Mike! Do you understand? Yes. 
Yes, Miss Pierce. Okay, let's go. the doors, all right?
<laughs> Which way? Turn around. So it doesn't fall out. Josh, it's no use. We're not gonna make it. If you listen to me, don't you dare start talking like that. We're gonna get out of here, you understand me? We're gonna get out. years we've known each other would have relied. Huh? <laughs> okay. Sooner or later, this poison's gonna affect everybody. No. No. Uh, Holly. No. Holly, no, no, stay no. with me. Don't break. No. Please don't break no. now. Holly, come on, fuck. All we gotta do, all we gotta do is get through the night, all right? <laughs> We're gonna get out of here, Holly. Okay? Come on, please. Listen to me. Listen, listen. We need some more bottles, all right? Go back in the garage and get some more bottles. Please? Here.
thinking it's one of them things running around out here. Oh, Albert. Thank God it's only you. Oh, yeah, thank God it's only me. You're not going to be quite so happy when you hear what I got in mind for you, darling. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm on you, you like bait on a hook. <laughs> By the time them things are through feasting on you, Albert's going to be in the next county. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, darling. Man, don't do that. I just kidding. Josh, please. All right, Albert. Get the rope. Get the rope. Move. Get up. Get on your feet, Albert. Get up. Come on, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You tie them up real tight. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You shoot. And you kill this little gal. You make another move. I will snap. Like a man's dick. All right. All right, Albert. Now you listen to me. You can't go out there. You understand? Don't go out there. Oh, no? Uh-uh. We're back to the bait deal again. <laughs> it's the lady. She's my ticket out of here. <laughs> Holly! No! 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 Holly, light the box. Hey, Captain, Captain, can you tell me the extent of the damage? It's hard to tell. You two okay? Oh, God, man, I thought you were dead. <laughs> so did I. What finally got him out here? Well, I went over Dawson's head straight to the governor's office. And some of those new arrow workers were brought in with chemical burns. We got him to admit everything. Even an EPA investigator disappeared. We found him in Mrs. Mape's cellar. Stuart. Stuart. 
about that suspension? I guess it's no longer in the works. Well, that's mighty nice of you, Captain. Oh, by the way, I think you know where you can put this. You all right? Yeah. You want a drink? I love it. something other than a natural catastrophe. 29 people have already been confirmed dead, and speculation is that the body count will be considerably higher. Stay tuned to WELM for more details. In other news, county officials are applauding New Era Industries' winning contract bid to build 10 new industrial sites throughout the state. This is only the beginning of New Era's plans for international expansion.